Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me and I hope you guys are taking care of yourself during the quarantine period. It's a very important phase for all of us and as this phase passes, we at Sports Tiger will be bringing you a lot of interesting videos, some on this day, some throwback videos and some insightful videos. Today, I will be talking about a subject which is very very close to all the cricketing fans. Yes, I'm talking about 3rd of April 2016 England versus West Indies final. We all anticipated that it will be Indian jersey who will be playing there, but unfortunately, it was West Indies and England. However, as the game followed, it turned out to be one of the greatest finals you would have ever seen and an innings of Carlos Bradford which you will never forget. We'll be talking about that game, but before that, I want to take you through the journey of these two teams in 2016 World Cup. West Indies played their first group game against England and ended up beating them there as well. They played against Sri Lanka and South Africa thereafter. Unfortunately, they lost against Afghanistan but made a crucial comeback against India and trust me, beating India in Indian conditions is something to be cherished because being the Indian crowd it, it becomes little difficult. The pressure conditions, it becomes very difficult to give your best shot. And the way West Indies played in one Khade was something to be watched out for. Even the highlights can be watched today and it feels like it happened yesterday. The, the space of Virat Kohli is still remembered. But the innings which Lendon Simmons played, and let me tell you that Lemden Simmons was not a part of uh, West Indies squad. He was only included because of an injury faced by a player and he was included in the squad just before the game and he was included in the playing 11 as well. Ended up score scoring a brilliant uh, half century and helping his side to be on the winning note. On the other hand, England lost their first game against West Indies but did not lose even a single game thereafter and they were in the finals. England versus West Indies at Eden Gardens, full pack crowd. England ended up scoring 155 with Joe Root playing a classical innings of 54. Let me tell you, even in the bowling sector, Carlos Prathfait was at his best. He took three crucial wickets of which one was of course of Joe Root who was in brilliant touch. Ended up the score was looking somewhere around 170-175 but he helped the team to restrict them to 155 only. But 155 in a final against the lineup which England had, oh, it was turning out to be very very difficult for West Indies. West Indies lose uh, their first three wickets very very cheaply and Dwayne Bravo came out to bat. He was playing well in the conditions. 20, 24, 25 runs he made, but he played a silly shot and ended up uh, going back to the pavilion. 107 for 6, 48 odd runs needed in less than 20 odd deliveries. It was becoming very difficult for West Indies and the West Indies fans. But Carlos Brathwaite had something else to think. He came out to bat and let me tell you, he did not bat that much in the series, in the tournament before. So not expectations were not at the peak. So he came out to bat, expressed himself and uh, the scoreline was somewhere around 19 runs needed of the 6 deliveries. 19 needed of 6, even if it was a T20 format, you will back the bowling side to win. And what followed thereafter made Carlos Bradford what Carlos Bradford is today. 4 sixes in 4 balls, taking West Indies to their second T20 World Cup title, it was a, it was an innings to be watched. What does it teach us? It teach that cricket is definitely a funny game. Cricket is a game of chances. Don't lose your hope because if you have hope, if you have belief in yourself, then yes, things would follow, and you never know that something of this sort can even happen in your life. The only aspect is you need to believe in yourself as Carlos Bradford did then and a lot of good things are eventually to follow. Please take care of yourself, do subscribe to our channel Sports Tiger and we're bringing you a lot of good updates and a lot of good cricketing and sporting action across the globe on this channel itself. Till then, it's a bye-bye.